yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off today's video by admitting that I have been screwed over in an online auction before. So last year I purchased a Corvette C6 through an online auction website, bought it sight unseen for $10,000. When we showed up to pick up the car, the Corvette standard 6.2 liter LS engine that was supposed to be in the car was gone, and in its place was a 5.3 liter truck engine from the junkyard. And thanks to some clever photo taking, there was no way for me to tell without seeing the car in person. So most all of you also know that I have recently been looking for a new daily driver. Well, recently we hosted a poll, and the overwhelming majority of you voted for a Jeep Trackhawk. So, Therefore, the hunt for a Jeep Trackhawk began, and what better to buy a lightly wrecked one and repair it on the channel, and then daily drive it for much cheaper than what it would be buying one brand new or close to new. So I hop on copart.com, and sure enough, there is a red Jeep Trackhawk on there that appears to be lightly wrecked in the front. Couldn't be a better match for what we're looking for. Something that'll only take us maybe two weeks to repair, low cost to repair, has a salvage title, you know, looks like it needs a new front bumper cover, a new grill, a hood, a radiator, but otherwise a pretty solid car. And I could have hopefully picked it up for somewhere in the thirty to forty thousand dollar range. Well, unfortunately for this Jeep Trackhawk, that is simply not the case. By searching the VIN number, we revealed some photos of this Jeep one month ago looking far worse than it is in these updated photos on Copart. Turns out this Jeep was bought like I said, one month ago for $35,000, and it appears that someone has thrown some fenders and a hood on it and taken it back to Copart looking a lot easier to repair. We couldn't believe the damage in the first photos, and then look at the ones on Copart. I mean, if you were on Copart and had never seen this Jeep in person or done your research, you would never know what's really under the skin of this Jeep. So my buddy Victor and I hopped on a plane to New York to see if this thing was worth purchasing and repairing. All right, what's up guys? We are here in New York. We're pulling into Newburgh, I believe, is the name of the, uh, the town we're going to. We're going to Copart. There is a Jeep Trackhawk that is here and you know we learned our lessons with the, uh, the C6 buying it sight unseen from an auction sometimes it does work out for people you know we last time we did that we ended up buying a car that had 5.3 liter truck engine in it so we figured we'd fly out here we're gonna check out this Trackhawk to make sure it's a legit car there's no crap that we don't want to deal with down the road so we're gonna try and thoroughly check it out real quick we're pulling up to Copart. Hopefully, it's a decent car, and if it is, we will uh, just maybe bid on it tomorrow. Dude, are you seeing this? Murcielago, McLaren, i8, another i8, Tesla. Holy crap! Oh, there's the there's the Trackhawk. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. All right, a there she is. How many miles did we travel? Over a thousand. Over a thousand. Quick, easy flight, but here we are. All right, let's check out this damage. I, I already noticed, look at the hood when this is down. It's like it's, oh, yeah. it's even over here, and then it's like sticking way up over here. Broken windshield. Oh, dude, she is cooked. Like, we had to like crinkle this one uh, to get it on. Look at the bend, the brand new fender. Oh, so yeah. Bent here, bent here, just to get it to like bolt up. Vic, look at this. <laughs> oh, you would never see that online though that's the crazy thing we might have been on this thing and had we not come and seen we it ready to bid. dude we were so excited when we saw this thing yep door hits the fender yeah the spec really isn't bad though i mean it's a lot of red though definitely yeah. a lot of red that's the apron oh damn oh my god dude look at all this all this is broken and just put here <laughs> oh my god. I want to see what under here looks like. Oh wow, that's not straight. That was a hammer that they used to straighten uh, it out. You can see the overspray where they spray painted it to hide it. Oh yeah, they literally spray painted it. Nice. Look at that, just just like pushed back on. Yeah, this, this one. Oh bro, off. the door got hit. Oh wow. Door if, got if cooked. You, if you hit on that side and the door buckled, that's bad. Oh no. Oh look at the shock. Is shock is completely bent in half. Look at that shock. It's only oil looks all right. Only a quart low, maybe two, <laughs> maybe three. <laughs> yeah. This thing is fried. I'm pretty sure somebody parked. I think the whole tower is moved too. Yeah, 
Somebody parked this thing on the railroad tracks. Dude, <laughs> holy crap. That was hit this at back. And then you can tell, I mean, it had no hood on it in the picture, right? A month ago? Yeah. You can tell this thing has sat outside yeah. with nothing on it. There's some living things on here on the hood. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like all everything's corroded. The yeah. throttle body, I mean, just the throttle body, everything is just covered in corrosion. I wonder if it runs. I don't know. Should we try and fire it up? There's no key. I love. So we did some research and we kind of had, we kind of thought this would be promising because we were going to do the work to fix it. The apron piece right here is like 300 bucks for this thing. The only problem is the dash ended up being $4,500 to get new from the dealer. Airbags are like seven or 800 each, but if it was cheap enough, we were going to try and do it. The problem is there's so much more damage than what you see right. online. Imagine then all that you get home. Motor doesn't even start. Motor or the trans or something is messed up. Oh my god. Yeah, imagine they, <laughs> they had the, <laughs> the little six cylinder out of a regular Jeep in there. Yeah, look, they just bent all this back into place so it looked normal. Oh, I'm sure there's I mean, you so can't, much stuff messed You can't up. really even tell that this stuff screwed up. Yeah, I'm sure there's a heat exchanger up here that got cooked. The radiator is cooked. Anything else crazy that you see? It's funny too because in the picture, that wheel was like kicked all the way back into the door almost and now they somehow got it shimmied back forward you can see the shock is broken it looks like the tower might have been moved this it thing must will never drive straight again on yeah it must have got hit like straight on right here use this for cletus and cars yeah demo drags <laughs> and a forty thousand dollar <laughs> jeep check out the clip at the end of this video but the jeep ended up selling for forty six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars we kind of estimated that to fix this thing correctly make it right make it drive straight fix all the paint all the body the suspension you're going to be in this thing for about 60 after paying forty six thousand dollars for it so now you've got a jeep that you're in for 60 grand that has a bad title with thirty thousand miles you can buy a thirty thousand mile trackhawk with a good title for in the 60s so it's pretty unfortunate uh hopefully whoever ended up purchasing this thing can fix it for cheaper but it's definitely a, a tough situation well guys unfortunately we will not be buying this track hawk unless it goes for like 15 grand or something but this is way too much of a project to get into for a daily driver we were hoping it had light front end damage but that is definitely not the case okay we got the alfa romeo we got the mercedes oh yeah model 3 mustang we all know why the Mustang's here. So Chevrolet. Dude, this thing's pretty sick. Man, what about this Lexus had a bad day? Bro, this Lexus had a really bad day. Another Model 3, I8. What do you think this McLaren's up here for? I what to the Damn, bro, you know what sucks is you know they put these, they put these up here with the forklift. Oh, 100%. 100%. Oh, that hurts. This car is actually in pretty good shape. Damn! Flood damage, maybe? It's gotta be flood damage. It's got a broken windshield. Oh yeah, it might've got hit in the front. It's got a broken headlight. Oh bro, look at the paint on this thing. <laughs> Damn, what the hell? Someone straight up did some ghetto paint on this thing and brought it back. This is Oh, it's a wrap. But the front is painted. The front is painted. But the back is wrapped. But the, but the rest of the wrapped. car is wrapped. So they were like, screw it, let's fix it, let's paint it. And then the rest is vinyl Even wrap. All right, well, no Copart Mercy Lago for us either. <laughs> Tell me that's to hold up the that's vent. To hold that up. Tell me that's to hold up the <laughs> vent. Wedged in there. No <laughs> shot. <laughs> Tell me there's one over here too. Oh no, this one's good still. This one's it's good. Just that one, you know? That pictures. one. Because those little vents go up and down. All right, let's wrap it up. We got the G Wagon, Maybach. Rolls Royce, that thing is bad to the bone, honestly. I wonder how much it costs to fix this. Is that a Bentley Bentayga? Mercedes AMG, yep, Bentley Bentayga, another Tesla, Caddy, Tesla Model X. It's got some pretty good damage on it. I don't know why they got the Challenger up here. Model S, is that a Porsche Macan? Yep, Porsche Macan. Ferrari, is that one of those FFs or what is it that? Is, yeah. Damn, Porsche, Cayman. Dude, we got a bid on something. <laughs> we got a bid on something, Vic. Wow, this thing's pretty, pretty nasty. You want to buy the Lexus put a 2J in it? Yeah. yeah. Look at this thing, Vander Hall. <laughs> it it's got a turbo kit? Look at the front mount. No way, it does. 
Oh my gosh, it's gotta be cute. All right, guys, the track hawk hunt continues. If you guys find a salvage one or even a good deal on just a not salvage one, the uh, the hunt has begun. We really want to find one. We're not dead set on a track hawk, but we'd love to have one. So, we you know if something else cooler comes along, we're definitely down. But this one is not going to be the one. We're gonna watch it go through the auction. I'll let you guys know what it sells for. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Oh my God, it's already at. 27,000. Oh man, I wish I could comment and say <laughs> it's way more screwed up than you know. Should we just bid just to bid one time? New bidder. New bidder. Damn, someone beat us. Oh, now it plays such a mean noise. Damn, it's about to hit 40 grand. Damn, dude, 45 5 now. Oh, he's stopping. No. <laughs> Stop. Let's say it's gonna go for $46,250. $46,250. Damn. There it goes. Wow. Someone bought that thing for $35,000. Did that quick repair work on it. Mm -hmm. it made a quick now it's somebody up. else's problem. Made a quick come up. That's crazy.